In 1993, the Northwest Atlantic Ocean experienced a collapse 500 years in the making. Centuries of overfishing had finally taken its toll on the Atlantic cod population. Despite the installment of a groundfish moratorium, the Atlantic cod has yet to make a recovery. This event could be partially explained by the concept of trophic cascades. Organisms are grouped differently based on the role they play in the food web, each of these groupings making up different trophic levels. If one of these levels is removed from the food web by overfishing, for example, the cascading effect is felt throughout the trophic levels below it. Prior to the early 90s, the large cod operated as the top predator in the Northwest Atlantic. Their hunting of the small fish and invertebrate populations helped keep these numbers in check. This influence ensured that the lower trophic levels were balanced and supported. Small fish had plenty of zooplankton to eat, and the zooplankton in turn controlled the phytoplankton population. This delicate give and take ensured plentiful nitrate to support the entire system from the floor up. However, once overfishing removed the large cod from this system, populations of small fish and crab boomed. The zooplankton population was decimated, and phytoplankton numbers were allowed to grow unchecked. This also resulted in the reduced availability of nitrate, a key limiting nutrient. This trophic cascade explains why the cod population has been unable to recover. Despite the 20-year moratorium, this restructured food web simply does not allow enough small cod to reach maturity and re-establish their role as the Northwest Atlantic's top predator.